This is module four, lesson 12, homework on the back. Number four, a rectangular garden has a total area of 48 square yards. Draw and label two possible rectangular gardens with different side lengths that have the same area. So I need to draw two rectangles that both have an area of 48 square yards. I need to think about different multiplication problems that equal 48. One problem that equals 48 is 8 times 6. So I'm going to start with a rectangle that represents 8 yards and 6 yards, which will give me 48 square yards. Then I'm going to take 8 times 6 and I'm going to break it apart to help me come up with another set of side lengths that will also equal 48 square yards. So I'm going to break apart the 8 into a smaller multiplication problem. The 8 would be broken apart into 4 times 2, and then we're going to also multiply in the 6. I will put parentheses around two of those numbers so that I get a different set of sides besides 8 and 6. To do that, I'll put parentheses around 2 times 6. I would like you to complete the multiplication problem by following what's in the parentheses first and filling in the information. Remember that the area will still be 48 square yards. Then draw a rectangle to match your new side lengths. Number five, Lila makes the pattern below. Find and explain her pattern. Then draw the fifth figure in her pattern. So first I need to find and explain her pattern. If I look at the areas, I can see that this is two square units, then next I have four square units, and then I see six square units. So if we look at the numbers of the areas, they are increasing by two every time. So I can say Lila's pattern is to add two each time. Next, the problem asks me to draw the fifth figure. So I don't want to draw what comes next. I want to draw the fifth figure. So if I kept counting up, the next number I would count is 8. I want you to count the next number and draw a figure that will match. It needs to have an area that matches the number you figure out goes in the blank. 